Good evening, I'm Ifrah and welcome to Dalsan TV English News. Tonight we bring you the latest updates from Somalia and beyond. Let's take a look at some of the top stories that are making the headlines. Mogadishu protests Ethiopian encroachment on Somali Sea in massive demonstration. Al-Shabaab seizes UN medical evacuation copter in Galgadud region, central Somalia. President Mohamud engages in phone conversation with UN Secretary Antonio Guterres. And finally, UN Special Envoy Katriona Lang meets with Hirshabel State President Ali Gudlowe to enhance humanitarian and security cooperation. Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, is witnessing a large-scale demonstration today as thousands of citizens and government officials gather to protest against Ethiopia's encroachment on the Somali Sea. The demonstration, which commenced at the KM4 intersection, resonates with strong sentiment against Ethiopia's perceived violation of Somalia's territorial sovereignty. Our reporter has more on the story. Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, is witnessing a large-scale demonstration today as thousands of citizens and government officials gather to protest against Ethiopia's encroachment on the Somali Sea. The demonstration, which commenced at the kilometer 4 intersection, resonates with strong sentiments against Ethiopia's perceived violation of Somalia's territorial sovereignty. The protesters expressed their opposition to Ethiopia's actions and demanded that Somalia's maritime boundaries be respected. In response to the Somali government's call for, for a protest, educational institutions and businesses have been closed to allow individuals to participate in the demonstration. The Minister of Interior, Affairs of Somalia issued a statement urging the people of Mogadishu to join the protest. The agreement has sparked anger and concern among Somalis who view it as a violation of their country, territorial integrity and maritime rights. Somalia opposes any encroachment on its sea territory and asserts its right to exclusive control over its waters. The Somali government and its supporters argue that the maritime agreement between Somaliland and Ethiopia undermines the unity and sovereignty of Somalia as a whole. They maintain that discussions or agreements concerning Somali water should be conducted through the central government in Mogadishu. The UN support office in Somalia, UNSOS, has confirmed an aviation incident involving one of the helicopters in Galmuduk with reports in indicating that the aircraft and its occupants have been seized by the extremist group Al-Shabaab. Efforts are underway to rescue the individuals involved. A UN support office in Somalia has confirmed an aviation incident involving one of its helicopters in Gelmudug, with reports indicating that the aircraft and its occupants have been seized by the militant group Al-Shabaab. Efforts are underway to rescue the individuals involved. In a statement released by the UN, it was confirmed that the helicopter which was contracted by the UN was conducting an, was conducting an air medical evacuation at the time of the incident. The exact details of the incident remain unclear, but the UN expressed its commitment to providing assistance and support in resolving the situation. According to a report from the Washington Post, Al-Shabaab militants set the helicopter ablaze seizure, resulting in the unfortunate death of a crew member. However, two others managed to escape the aircraft. Internal memo cited by the publication mentioned that the helicopter was struck by an object on the main rider blade but was able to land safely with precautions. Locals have indicated that the helicopter was en route from Beledwene in Hirshabel estate to Whistle in Gelmudug when the incident occurred. It was forced to make an emergency landing in Har Handere area where Al-Shabaab militants reportedly took control of the aircraft and its equipment. Occupants. Somalia President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has held a phone call consultation with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. During the conversation, they discussed the importance of regional security and stability in light of the diplomatic row between Somalia and Ethiopia over the latest over the latest attempt to infringe on Somalia's territorial integrity following a controversial deal with Somaliland. Somalia's President Dr. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has on Wednesday evening held a phone call consultation with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. During the call, the two sides discussed the importance of regional security and stability in the wake of the current diplomatic role between Somalia and Ethiopia over the latter's attempt to infringe on the territorial integrity of the former following the signing of controversial deal with Somaliland. According to a statement from the United Nations Office in Somalia, Guterres expressed concerns on the recent 
Ethiopia, Somaliland Red Sea Access signed in Addis Ababa on the beginning of the year. The UN Secretary General reaffirmed the UN's commitment to respecting the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Somalia. Somalia has termed the Memorandum of Understanding reached by the breakaway region leader Musa Bihi Abdi and Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abi Ahmed unlawful and enacted a law nullifying the agreement. The international community have also reiterated calls for respect to Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. And finally, dear viewers, United Nations Special Representative Katrina Lang had a productive meeting with Hirshabala State President Ali Abdullahi Gudlawi in Mogadishu. The discussion primarily focused on enhancing cooperation between the two parties as well as the humanitarian and political situation in the country. The United Nations Special Representative Kationa Liang on Tuesday held a productive meeting with Hirshabela's regional state president Ali Abdullahi Gudlawi in the nation capital Mogadishu. The meeting primarily discussed aspects of cooperation between the two sides and humanitarian and political situation and the country. Both sides also deliberated on the current security situation in the country, with a major focus being on bolstering the ongoing war against Al-Shabaab. President Gudlawe expressed gratitude to UN Special Envoy for meeting and highlighting the importance of both sides working closely in a bid to surmount the challenges plaguing the Somali people across the country, especially Hirshabel State. He urged the UN official for intensified efforts to help the families ravaged by the flood in Beledwene and across Hirshabel State. On her part, Ms. Kationa underscored the unwavering commitment by the UN for enhanced humanitarian relief assistance to Somali population adversely impacted by the natural calamity. She emphasized the need for bolstered cooperation to overcome the Al-Shabaab menace that has gripped the Horn of African nation for 16 years. Hirshabel State is among the areas severely affected by the El Nino floods and terrorism which have left thousands of families destitute. Thank you for joining us on Dalson TV English News. Stay informed, stay engaged and have a wonderful evening.